Hey guys, it's Mike with Snap Maven's Tech, or I'm sorry, Tip Tuesday. I might as well call it, if if I'm doing it, it might as well be Tech Tuesday. <laughs> but uh, So it's Tip Tuesday, and I wanted to show you guys how I automate uh, backing up my web resized photographs to the cloud. So you could use the, I caveat it that way because that's just what I back up to the cloud. I, everything else I back up locally. Um, but uh, I do choose to, to back up my web resized images uh, for a couple of reasons. I mean, it, it's nice to have backups of, you know, fully edited images. Um, and then the second thing is, is it makes it easier to set, to, to share on Instagram via mobile or if I'm, you know, on a plane or something like that and I want to do a blog post, I have these photographs that are, that are available via OneDrive. So I choose to use OneDrive. There's a multitude of other ones. There's Dropbox and Sync and all these other all these other cloud uh, storage uh, sites. But I use OneDrive because I already subscribed to Microsoft 365, which is an annual subscription, and they give you one terabyte of free. So Amazon Photos does another one, but... Ultimately, it really doesn't matter because the the process that I'm going to show you right now just uh, it shows you it, it'll give you the building blocks to pretty much uh, create however which way you want to do this. So first things first um, is I'll take you through quickly what my workflow is. I got an image that I'm I've completely edited here the way that I want it. Uh, what I'll end up doing is image resize, and then we'll just do 248. And then I'll click OK on that. So now it's been resized. I'm going to export it with JPEG Mini. JPEG Mini is a pretty cool piece of software. It's a plug-in for Lightroom and Photoshop. And then it has a, another, just a regular desktop app. But it cuts down all the crap that uh, it, a JPEG is full of that does not require, it's not required to be there. So it, I think my reduction rate right now as it sits is around 56%. Uh, so it'll take my, my, my file, reduce it by 56%. And uh, without any reduction in, in image quality. And that's that's pretty awesome for several things. It saves space in your hard drive. And then these are the same ones that I use to upload to my website uh, or you know upload to Facebook and all that stuff. So it makes the loading of the photograph actually faster. So I'm going to take this image. I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to uh, save it off. I have a folder here that um, is where I save all of Everett's photographs. And I've created it once already, so I'm just going to select this anyway. Uh, and you can see that it's the file name underscore test. Name it whatever which way you want. Uh, it's just important. Uh, for, it's important for me the the way that I save these off. You can see these are web, web. This is high res. Um, it, it's important when you're setting this up to have some kind of caveat in here that kind of calls it what it is. So this is just a test. This is web, and this is high res with nothing. So. Uh, I'm gonna click save. Yes, I want to replace it. So the thing that I do now, so now I have within. Uh, let's see. Within Everett's folder, you can see that there's test here. Um, I also I have the OneDrive app installed on my computer. So what I want it to do is automatically move from local here Everett's folder down to OneDrive's folder down here well in this case we're not going to use Everett's folder we're going to use this test folder right here let me delete this out of here it's gone this needs to go as well all right so we have an empty folder it's called test and what we're going to do now is if you don't have this application, it's pretty cool. It's called Sync Toy. It's free. Um, is install Sync Toy, and then now we're going to create a new folder pair, and we're going to browse, scroll down to where Everett's folder is. Right there, and now I'm going to give it a destination of OneDrive test there so you have some other options here synchronize allows you to as you make modifications to to the OneDrive folder it syncs it back and forth to the other folder I don't really care about that because I'm really using it for backups and then like I said before uh, access to in Instagram so I'm just gonna put it on echo so that only new ones are updated from left to right so from the 
my original folder on my machine to the destination folder uh, in OneDrive. So I'm, I'm going to click next and I'm just going to call this test. And now I have this action over here. But what I want to do is change some of the options. So files to include, this is common, this is uh, wild carded out. So it's going to take everything from the Everett folder and put it uh, and put it into this OneDrive test folder. I don't want that to happen because I don't want to back. I'm not looking to back up all my high res uh, files. What I so what I ended up doing is just doing an asterisk for wild, for the wildcard underscore test is how I named it and then J, J, JPEG. So once I do that, you click OK, and I can click Run, and you'll see there's two two things that move over. This Grayson folder keeps moving over. I need to go back into the original folder and get rid of it, but it, it doesn't matter for the sake of this. But you can see that the the folder underscore test does show up, or the file underscore test does show up, and it's that wonderful picture of my son playing in the sprinkler. Um, but so there's a downfall to this the downfall is is you have to come over here and manually run each one of these every time you want it to sync to your OneDrive folder or to whatever folder Dropbox whatever it may be you have to manually do it so in an effort to automate that process I am using task scheduler which is a built-in Windows app uh, to create an automated task create a basic task here we'll call it test sync next when do you want it to start so I have mine doing it whenever I log on um, so when I log off, like I log off at the end of the day uh, and then log back in in the morning or whatever it may be this automatically runs and you'll you see it happen uh, so what I'm gonna do now I, I mean some people might want to just do it daily weekly monthly whenever it may be so I'm just gonna leave it at daily and click net or when I log on uh, now we'll leave it right there so daily next you give it a time it doesn't matter what it is and, and recur every however many days and then click next again and then what do you want it to do uh, what do you want this to do I want it to start a program and then this is where if you're using sync toy uh, you just add in what do you what you want it to do so program files Oops, files, sync toy, two, not one, sync toy command dot exe. All right, and then now I'm going to add uh, tack r so that it runs all, all of the syncs, right? So it's going to run all of these at one time. You click next. It appears that the arguments have been included in the program tabs. Do you want to run the following program? Oops, forgot one thing. Because Windows is goofy and all that good stuff, you have to put it in quotes. Just know that you have to put it in quotes. Anytime there's a space um, between a, a file name or something like that, you put it in quotes and it treats it as the whole thing as the statement. So there, it went through no problem that time. Um, <clears throat> and then open the properties dialog for this task when I click finish when you finish the new task will be created and added into your window schedule so I'm just going to click finish and now you can see that it was created down here so next time I log out and log back in to the box um, it will run I can select to run it now so let's let's do that let's just show that it run that it's working just fine Let's go over here. Let's find a photo. Um, we'll take this one. We'll copy it and paste it again. But instead of, we're gonna take it and change this to test. All right. So now I'm going to run this, and you'll see this box pop up. And then it's going to go away once it's done. All right, so it went away. Now we should be able to go over here to OneDrive, and you can see that it was it was moved into the folder like it was supposed to. 
So if you guys have any questions and you want to know uh, you're having trouble setting something like this up, I'd be happy to help you. Um, but I think with the video itself, if you, if you start with that, you can easily make this happen to where it's an automated process and your stuff is just automatically getting backed up to the cloud. So, um, but if you do have questions, shoot me a message at Snap Maven or at Rural Life Photography and I'll be happy to help you guys. Have a good day.